Seriously, where did all the hippies go? What happened to that powerful movement? There were so many things within the hippie movement that really ring true for me. And I really firmly and truly believe that these, these beliefs need to be more firmly in, embedded in our day-to-day -day reality. And the things that really um, I feel are truly important, they were all about living in the moment. That is such a powerful thing. Some people can think it's selfish to do that, but when you live in the moment, nothing can touch you. You're not worried about the past. You're not worried about the future. You're just experiencing this moment now. And that is a very, very, very powerful place to be. And also they were all about the vibe, high vibes, you know, and oh my goodness, this is foundational. We all, we, this is something that we should be, have on the school curriculum, I believe. Um, we're taught at school, you have to work hard, you have to hustle, you have to, if you truly work, 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 and you give it your all, you will eventually succeed. But if there's any entrepreneurs out there listening to this, how's that working for you? Are you do you actually have what it is that you really, truly want? And what's really going on here beneath the surface is it's vibrational. The reason why you don't have the things that you want, it's all about the vibe. The hippies were right, you know, keep the vibe high. And this is founded in physics. You know, quantum physics tells us that everything in our world is energy, that we're all vibrating at frequencies. And Einstein said, everything in life is vibration. And the law of attraction says that that which is likened to itself is attracted to itself. So really what the law of attraction is saying is when you want something, you have to match the vibration of that thing that you want in order to draw it to you. And this is what the hippies were talking about. Maybe they knew that, maybe they didn't. They just knew that when they felt good, things went well and it is about vibration and I think the more as entrepreneurs you can really understand that it's um, frequency first, your frequency first and then action second. This is hugely important and I think the more that if this were taught in schools it could remove so much suffering in the world of kids, adults, believing that, you know, I have to work hard, I have to hustle, not realizing that everything in their life is a reflection of their existing vibration. You know, it's, it's vibrational. And when you want something, you need to match that vibration to get it. But how do you do that? Where do you even begin to match um, the frequency of energy, the frequency of something that you can't even see? How do you do that? And this is why I am so deeply passionate about the work that I do, because I support entrepreneurs in particular to learn how to focus, manage and apply all of their energy, their spiritual energy, connection to the divine, the ability to have incredible downloads, creative ideas flowing to them, to know their life's purpose, to know their dharma. And then it's connecting to the mental and emotional energy, all of the beliefs, emotions, the things that are actually deep beneath the surface that are potentially affecting your energy field, pushing away the very things that you are working hard to achieve. And then there's your physical energy. Again, it's like showing up in that high vibe, um, presence being at that level of vibration that you can draw the things to you this work is hugely powerful the hippies were right all along and we need to start remembering these things we need to bring it back into our day-to-day -day. and this is the work that i love to do my process and methodology the way of the successful spiritual entrepreneurs shows entrepreneurs just exactly how to do that all righty folks Love you. Give me a high vibe today. Lots of love. Bye for now.